Hi, welcome to another NTN Insider video. I'm your host, David. Today, we're gonna to show you how to properly install an NTN Solid House SPAW bearing. Here to help us out, as usual, is our friend Brian from NTN. How's it going, Brian? Good, David. Thanks for having me again. Excellent. So what exactly is a solid housed SPAW bearing? So the NTN Solid Housed SPAW bearing is a direct interchange to a standard SAF type bearing, but it comes with factory grease installed and integral spring-loaded lip seals. These units can be installed up to 60% faster than on a standard SAF unit. Wow, 60% sounds like a significant amount of time. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and get started. First off, as always, we're gonna put on the appropriate PPE wear. I advise you at home, you should always do the same. All right, Brian, take it away. Okay, before we install any bearing, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna inspect the shaft for any contamination, uh -huh. any nicks, burrs, dents, or dings in it. And it would look pretty good, right, David? Yeah, it looks good to me. All right. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the components of the bearing. We have the adapter sleeve, the lock nut, the lock washer, and the bearing itself. We're gonna take the adapter sleeve and position the adapter sleeve onto the shaft. And just roughly positioning it for now so we can actually put the bearing into position. And David, if you'd help me, can you put that bearing onto that adapter sleeve? Oh, sure, we'll do. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, when that adapter sleeve goes on, we want to make sure that the threads are to the outboard side of the bearing. Now, we're going to make sure that we're lined up with our bolt holes, mounting bolt area. Make sure our locking collar is in place. We're going to take our mounting bolts. And if you want to, you can help me with one of these, David. And we're going to bolt this bearing down into place. Now we're just going to hand snug these for now. We'll tighten these, torque these down later before we would have run that bearing. We'll do. I think okay. I got it. Now we're ready to go. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the lock washer. We're going to take the lock nut and put that onto the adapter sleeve. Now you'll notice, David, that there are notches on the lock washer. Yeah. These are going to come in handy later on for final assembly to lock this bearing into place. Go okay. Ahead. So let's put our lock washer on first. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to help me, we can put that lock nut on here and threading it all the way down to the bearing. Perfect. Uh, which side is the outside? So the flush side is going to go to the outside, the contoured in toward the face of the bearing. Got it. And just snug again? We can snug it up against that bearing, correct. Got it. All so right. What we're doing here is we're going to actually seat that bearing into a positive position. So we're going to back this nut off just slightly from that bearing face. Now we're going to take a wedge or a screwdriver. We're going to go between that nut face and the bearing itself. What we're going to do is if the bearing is not seated or the sleeve is not seated, that sleeve will pull forward as I put a little bit of pressure on this. Mm -hmm. If it is seated properly, it won't move at all. So if you notice, it did move just ever so slightly. Right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is just going to snug that back up into place to see if it sits properly and then back off just a little. Okay, so we're good to go there. The bearing is seated. All right, so we know now that it is sufficiently seated. Correct. Okay, great. What we would do to test this though, if we wanted to, hammer and punch or a drift and on the back of the face of the adapter sleeve, give it just a couple little taps. If it isn't seated properly, it would move forward, but if it is, it won't move at all. So now we are completely seated. And now this bearing, we can take this lock washer and snug it all the way up against that bearing again. Great, so it's on there nice and tight. Yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set the internal clearance. And the method we're gonna use is called a lock nut rotation method. We have cards that have various different measurements for internal clearance for both SAF units and SPAW units, various sizes. This particular method that we're gonna use for this requires us to take that lock nut and rotate it a certain amount of degrees in order to set the internal clearance of this bearing. Ah. So for this particular size bearing, we know that we're gonna need 120 degrees of rotation of that lock nut from this seating point that it's at right now. Okay. So to do that, what we would do is take a wax pencil uh, or something to put a little mark at the 12 o'clock position of the face of this nut. Mm -hmm. Once we have that mark there, we would then take a spanner wrench we put the spanner wrench onto that nut and rotate that mark from the 12 o'clock position 120 degrees or roughly to the 4 o'clock position. That will give us the internal clearance that we need for this particular bearing. Got it. All right, so 120 degrees has been achieved. Are we done? 
almost one last thing. All right. Earlier when I was talking about that lock nut and the various tabs that are on it, mm -hmm. we need to lock one of those down, those tabs down into the nut. Okay. So if you can take a look at it, one of those tabs should be lined up with one of the four positions or cutouts of that nut. Do we see one or no? Mm, a little bit. Okay. Close. If we're slightly off, what we need to do is we need to put the spanner wrench back onto that nut, mm -hmm. tighten it or snug it down slightly until we line up with one of those tabs, mm -hmm. and then bend that tab down over that lock nut and lock it in place. And then that's all we hit on. All right. Well, this has been awesome. There you have it. How to install an NTN solid housed SPAW bearing. Brian, thank you so much for this great information. Thank you again, David. Always a help. All right. Well, that about does it on this NTN Insider video. To see more, check out ntnamericas.com. I'm your host, David. Look to see you there. Take care.